All right, uh, welcome back everyone. Today is a special stream because we enter the no when we uh, entertain the notion of cutting a card that has been in the deck since 2013. Um, I just had the idea this morning that you know it, the last time. It, the community seemed to be playing a card that I wasn't and that naturally fit into our strategy was Endurance and now people are playing the Surveil lands and I hadn't been and the, and the reason being is because man I wasn't sure if I could stomach the notion of another tap land in our deck but this morning I thought wait a minute what if we replaced drum roll the second dried arbor with you know mortuary uh, underground mortuary the idea is it's better when you draw it unlike arbor which is kind of bad outside of pitching to endurance and you know potentially even force of vigor also there's a lot of times where early in the game you don't you can't spend that last mana and you don't really want to fetch an arbor because if they bolt it or swords it, you're just down, a, you get stone rain, right? Like, I don't really want that to happen. So, in theory, I think it's potentially replacing the second arbor. Now, obviously, people the pushback will be, well, second arbor has been in the deck for a long time and we need it to, you know. It's fiend artisan food, it's natural order food, it's very good with our deck. It And, that, and while that's true... I think some of the uses can be mitigated by the underground mortuary. Now, obviously, if it's if it can't, we can't live without it. But mortuary is good enough. Then we can just cut the eleven fetch. But in general, I tend to be more aggressive with my cuts. Then you know, just uh, and if it doesn't work, then we can always step back up like a bit, right? Like for instance, I just cut the full nettle set. No, uh, uh, place it when I first uh, transitioned to Reclaimer because I just felt like you don't need it, right? Like, uh, it's, it's training wheels that you, you can just rip off the band-aid. Same thing. I cut all copies of Glimpse of Nature within the first few days after we added Fiend Artisan. Uh, so a similar idea here, right? Like, we'll just try to rip off the band-aid and see how it goes. Uh, I have a, some water there. So I'm going to queue up this match here. Here and then uh, see how it goes. The sideboard is just a bunch of like cards that I deemed you know of high value at the moment. Neko Foon. I think I played against this person yesterday. I don't remember what they were on, but. Uh, We'll just try it again, I guess. Keep. I'm sure I'm gonna screw it up where I think I have a second arbor and then I'm gonna go to fetch and it's not there. But, you know, we'll, we'll play that by ear and, and, you know, try to adjust on the fly. Looks like they're playing lands. Sure. I think they're newer to the archetype because I played them yesterday and it definitely felt like our opponent, uh, Maybe wasn't familiar with the matchup. Now, obviously, that could mean they just not, they're not familiar with the matchup. Doesn't mean they're new with the deck. But my impression was they were uh, not as familiar. Uh, I let the, I chose to leave with Reclaimer there because this matchup is hard to win without Cradle. And I just want to get that out of line as quickly as possible. Uh, 
Hey, how's it going? Mm, I could bash right here. And then cradle that ramps me one. I don't think there's anything I need to be scared of, right? I would have loved to hit a land drop there because I can play my dork and get cradle simultaneously. I think we're not in a great spot. We needed to hit that second land. Should be a land here, they're gonna main phase, presumably, uh, uh, Merit Lage. The swarm, ironically enough, somewhat relevant. So, if we hit a land drop, if nothing else, we can live for another turn. Um, we don't have the main deck, Caracas. They should main phase Merit Lage right here to play around. Possible with Seiju, possible Wasteland, possible whatever. <coughs> we'll see if they do that. They should be doing it, but I don't know. Uh, okay. So two. Uh, it doesn't. But it has its, uh... I like it for its, uh, two different things. One, it maps against control very well. Uh, it's better against Delver than Gris, in my opinion. And number two, actually, let's do this. Uh, what it does do is it's good against uh, Merit Lage. I think they're going to make it in response. All right, we're just dead. That's okay. Let's concede. Uh, yeah, like I said, we really need to hit land drop there on uh, turns, would have been three and four. We beat our opponent yesterday, so uh, there could be time for them to in, in, enact a vengeance on us. Oops, wrong one. Actually, that's correct. I don't like this in this matchup, actually. Um, I board. I actually don't like Artisan that much in this matchup because you never have mana. Uh, that's a low key secret. I, I love when my opponents name Pithing Needle. Sorry, name Queen Artisan with Pithing Needle because secretly it is not the strongest creature in this matchup. It's actually kind of a liability outside of these corner cases where you know you have your board uh, blown up by Blast Zone. That suddenly it's like a ten ten, right? That's kind of the outlier. Or if you're kind of a heady ahead, uh, I almost see it as a. Uh, not not necessarily win more, but just like a win condition, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't really want to draw more than one in this matchup, so I don't mind going down. Because this matchup is all about Cradle, in my opinion. And Reclaimer is the best creature in the matchup. By a lot. The other creature that is very good is obviously Dorks. Because they ramp you into uh, the mana you need. <coughs> And they pay for themselves with Tabernacle. So your cradles actually are good. Uh, endurance is very good. Uh, po possible. Possible. I just... It's been good for me personally, but... Uh, you, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like a must or anything. It, it is for the scenarios where, like, your opponent has multiple flyers, for instance. But then again, I guess endurance is, like, decent in that situation. It's like a fifth endurance. That's how I see it. Uh, that is, like, passable. Uh, the other thing I see is um, it's good against green-white death, which we are a little bit naked against otherwise. But, yeah, I, I see it kind of as a fifth endurance against Delver that uh, maps against control 
unlike pick your poison or like snuff out, which is very situational. Like sometimes you can get lucky and you, you hit something relevant, but you could it, it can also be very dead if your opponent plays in a certain way. Um. And while I think Gris is probably better against Control, uh, it's kind of a side grader, right? Like in the sense that at least you nuke their yard. Uh, I think you keep. It has Endurance plus Pitch and then Reclaimer plus a High Arc. But, I mean, Josh brings up like valid... Uh, Concerns. Uh, four mana is definitely a lot against Delve. Uh, at least for this stream, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I cut the second armor. I mean, uh, that's gonna be sacrilegious for some people, but I theory crafted it in my head today, and I don't think we need it. We play underground uh, mortuary. Maybe I'm wrong, but th that's what the theory crafting came out to be. Uh, of course, the the, the old tabernacle, tabernacle get turn one. Uh, just pay for itself. Oops. Okay, I screwed that up. I, for some reason, I thought there was a sphere out. I missed on a point of damage. I don't think it really matters. Now, now it kind of matters. Well, not really. It's so new, it doesn't even pop up from Scryfall. kill this um it's gonna feel bad but i'm gonna sack the noble we have to get the loam out of the yard I think this is the play maybe a newer elf player might not recognize to do. Like, it's okay to sacrifice your creatures against in the face of Tabernacle. It's not going to matter. Like, you need to, like, shut off their engine, and you need to get yours going, which is namely Kai Guy's Cradle. So don't be afraid to just sacrifice creatures, like, willy-nilly. Their, their hand is pretty good this game. Drawing that layer was kind of bad for us. Presumably they make a tilt, maybe they don't, because I guess they learned from yesterday, like, their their tabernacle ended up hurting them more than, than, uh, I guess they did, than hurting us, because they couldn't pay for it, and they just, like, we just ignore it. Uh, I think here we get the uh, cradle. They presumably need all the reclaimer, but who knows. There's a possibility they get the the light the shadow sphere, which I don't think we care too much about. It's gonna be a three three, and shadow sphere makes it I guess a four four. Maybe they can attack through. Through. <coughs> I don't think that's what this game is about. Unfortunately, they have a cage that we care about now. 
And we don't have a, a way to really answer that cage because uh, our force of uh, we don't have force of vigor and our pick your poison is not targeted. Sure. Fiendar isn't sure. Not a card that doesn't really matter. I think right now on this board state. Interesting. Here, the mortuary mire is the thing that actually is relevant. I'll just pass. We don't have any black cards. The the body is probably gonna be what's gonna go. Also, sequencing here. I, I saw somebody trying this against me in the mirror. They're playing Queer Ranger and getting like real key with it uh, when they could just kill me. But they were sequencing incorrectly. Namely, you should do, do the fetch last. And they were, they were surveilling before they were doing their search effects, which essentially like mitigates against the surveil, in my opinion. All right, all right we're probably just dead. Like, like they, they drop, drew pretty well, and we did not. Alright, this is what I mean, right? You search first. Where is it? Oh my god, I forgot. We, we took out the lair. Okay, that's kind of a disaster then. I mean, we not we took out the lair. It's already gone, is what I meant to say. Uh, do we care about this? They pro they probably get the Shadow Sphere next. Um, I just don't. How are we winning though? Is the problem? Like they're gonna make another one, and then we don't have any defense. I think we're at the bottom. I just don't see how we're winning against this with like on this board state. So the mortuary mire are actually relevant already, right? Like we can't get, we can't bypass cage with that with with uh, arbor. So that's like one relevant thing that came up right now. Well, too bad we're gonna lose, but um, I think the testing was worthwhile at least. I haven't been able to win my first match in a league. Well, actually, that's not true. I feel like I've been losing a lot of first matches, but I, I didn't win my first match yesterday. It's, it kind of depresses me because I have if you if I lose my first match, there's no chance for a five zero. Did they not? Well, I guess maybe they don't have the mana. I was gonna say maybe I felt like they should have. Made another token with the uh, saga, but who knows? Sure. I don't think we're winning against this. Like, probably get wasteland. That's reasonable, I guess.
pass, I guess. Actually, wait, let's just save everyone in time. I, I don't see how I'm winning this game, so I'm just going to concede. Because I, I do want to see how this game played out, and unfortunately, not well against us. So, I think we kept 7 the game 2. I don't know about game 1. Yeah, we kept this. That's like reasonable. I, I don't have a problem with this hand. They did that. The big punish was drawing this layer here because they wasted us. And then I didn't have the mana to keep the noble. I mean, I don't think it re that's why we lost. But it's definitely a minus. We we bogged the life on the loan, which I agree with. The problem is then they have the saga still and we're drawing kind of poor. And then they yeah, they go to the cage and our outs like immediately went down. Um, it's almost, it's ironic because this card was originally a force of vigor, which would have been pretty huge here. But that's ne neither here nor there, I guess. I'll s yeah. Alright, right, I kind of have an idea of what happened. How did game one go? Yeah, they go with one sphere us. I think we reclaim her and bog them. Uh, and then we miss land drops after that. Yeah, I, we had two chances at a land, and I think this game is possibly winnable if we just hit land. But, say la vie. Our opponent was pretty all in on the um, on the Merit Lage plan. I don't think we can keep this. Better. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, even though it's a one drop, uh, turn one Shepherd is like a very very weak draw. I mean, very weak hand. Obviously, like, if you know your opponent, if, if, if your opponent lives with Chalice or something, or, like, you know they're a forcible combo deck, then sure. But I typically do not like uh, Turn 1 Shepherd. Let me rephrase that. If you know they're on, like, Doomsday and you have Endurance in hand, then sure, I'll leave with the Shepherd. Even then, I'll, I'll probably just take my risk, make take my chances and ramp, because the games look very different when you're in both ramp. Probably named Fienarzen. They named him. Interesting. Guess they are not familiar with our deck. Uh, I think here we're just gonna spam. Uh, I think we're just gonna play everything out. Be <laughs> hey, Dukes, how's it going? Actually, I, I sequenced that poorly. I should have led with a shepherd here, right? Uh, we're just gonna vomit our hand because we don't want our uh, our opponent to like therapy anything with uh, veteran explorer. I feel like they're on uh, knit fit, but who knows? Now they get bowmasters us here. That, that feels bad, but. Oh, okay. <coughs> I think they're on like alert. If I were to guess. Thanks. Uh, family is doing well. Um, baby is going to be nine months tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Uh, milestone there. Uh, he is definitely more alert these days, which is more fun, but also more tiring. Uh, Alright, what are we going to do? Four. Can we attract our opponent yet? Frexian Tower. Uh, I feel like something crazy is about to happen on our opponent's side. Is he pulling himself up on the furniture yet? That's the step before walking. Uh, yeah, he, hey, Corey. Uh, yeah, he's already doing that. Um, 
I feel like he's not too close to walking it because uh, while he does stand, he doesn't like his balance is not great. Obviously, he has to, like hold on to the, the uh, coffee table or whatnot. Let's see, four, five. Sorry, five, six, seven. I kind of feel like. Oops, okay, Cardinals. Well, not quite, I guess. I'm gonna ramp here into. Um, the swarm here and just like to eat their therapy while ramping. And then this is actually like the best of both worlds, right? Like, and then, and I get to do this too. Bottom. I mean, graveyard. I did. It wasn't intentional, but the sequence there, sequencing there was correct. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna get opposition agent here. It's the only reason why they would do nothing, right? Say effed up. <sighs> oh, we're They're, they almost suddenly have opposition agent. How much mana do we have? Ten. Are we just gonna YOLO then? If it's an endur if they tap out for endurance, I think I'm happy. Question now is like, do we do it? They got a Frexian Tower. Well. I guess we might as well, right? Oops. They probably have it, but I, I like, what are we gonna do here? What the heck is going on? How can they not have it? I must be missing something here. I don't know what the heck's going on. That was a misplay by me. If I'm gonna do that anyways, I might as well just go for the hoof and then, then I would get the win, right? I like play too scared there. Now I might have just lost. I feel like my opponent has a combo kill coming. Uh, I think it's good. Yeah, so I, I just like threw this game for no reason. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Oh, they're gonna sack it. Yep. I'll tell you why I saved this. 
is because in case I once into endurance, I'm gonna target their yard if they somehow are able to sack it. Sure, I think we got lucky this game. I, I threw and then they luckily didn't have, couldn't punish me. I, tr I almost salvaged it because I didn't play the artisan because if I once into endurance, that can potentially save the game as well. All right, uh, better lucky than good on that. Uh, Fair Macabre, probably insane in this matchup. <coughs> uh, hitting the Rector. The funny thing is, I think... Did I have an Arbor out? I don't even know. But... Uh, I actually, I did, so... I, my, that fetch land there would have been dead, right? I, I, well, not dead, but I would have just got a body instead of a second armor. <coughs> uh, I don't think this is a layer matchup. Uh, the cut was a second armor, as blasphemous as that's going to sound to some people. That's a card that's been in the deck since 2013, for what it's worth. And I think it's going to be, re it's replaced by Underground Mortuary. Now, the obvious uh, pushback is why not everything? No, I think Natural Order is too good. Like, attract, it's just like, three mana, if you don't answer it, you lose the game. Uh, in most cases. I think it is too good. Ironically enough, this is like irrelevant against them, but I feel like it's kind of gonna be worse post board. Uh, is Gris something we would care about in this matchup? Probably. I'll just cut a dork, see what happens. Yeah, I think the thing is, our deck is like very focused. It's as terms of, in terms of just like a linear deck, uh, so it's very consistent, and I think you just want to execute our game plan, right? And natural order is a very linear card. Four count of four, win the game. Put a track center in play. Sure. I know some people find linear boring. Uh, I find consistency very valuable. Uh, some people call it boring, but consistency is something I value. Oof, a little too much consistency here. It's kind of awkward. Uh, yep. Yeah, so the, ob the obvious question is, like, why not just, you know, cut a fetch, right? I think I do not want to play too many tap lands. That is the issue with that. Also, I do think the second arbor is less than necessary running the mire. I'll probably take the gris I got to imagine. Maybe, unless they don't care about it somehow. Yeah, I mean... It wouldn't make sense otherwise. <sighs> also, natural order is just very clean, right? Because we kind of already want to play... Um, I might do this, actually. We kind of already want to play... Uh, what is it called? A Cradle of Anyways? Uh, I think I take the endurance here. Oops, I missed that attack.
<laughs> but anyhow, maybe we can bluff something with that mana up. But we did miss an attack here. That's pretty good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, what are we gonna do here? We play that for sure. Uh, we have four mana. I think we can actually do everything we want to do here. But... Eureka, maybe? Sure. What the heck is that? Um... The question here is like, if they put the rector into play, then then what? But we we want the extra mana too, so YOLO. Nope. Oh my god. I don't know if, I guess that's how it works, I don't know. I guess we are dead now. I don't know how we beat this. This is all in kind of deck. But that's neither here nor there. I guess maybe we just have to rely on Discord, right? Like. I, I don't really enjoy playing these against these kind of decks that are like very high variance. It, it kind of feels like um, rolling dice, right? Or uh, or playing high card slash flip, uh, heads or tails, flipping coins. I don't think we have an out to that thing. Off the top of my head, I'll just concede. I, I yeah, I don't think we have an out. Okay, so at least now we kind of know what we're playing against. Uh, I think we just board the duresses, right? I don't think we're actually doing anything. Well, it, it could against Ugin, but like... Man. Uh, endurance? Maybe not, actually. Maybe just the one. Nope. I don't love this either. Like no interaction essentially. I guess these are like all index. I'm gonna go 2 here. I've been uh, struggling on streams lately. Uh, well, I guess the last two maybe. Feels like a mole. Oh my god. We're on a four, unfortunately though. Uh. I'm playing to my ceiling, right? Well, 
We can't natural order for a while, so I'm gonna leave with duress. Uh, living wish. I guess that takes their sack outlet, right? For Rector. Maybe we get lucky here. We get another land drop. We do have that in tracks though. White is for T, perhaps. Uh, the funny thing about this is if we block, like how dangerous is that if we do that right now? Then we, we're guaranteed to hit the um, natural order next turn. Yeah, let's spin the dice. Wow, okay, they're gonna, they're, they might regret doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, it is what it is, right? <sighs> my God. <sighs> yeah, for sure. I, I thought we had we I thought we played this pretty well too. Like our opponent, we took a chance where we needed to because we moved a four, and then we just got absolutely punished with this draw here. The good thing is, maybe a Goris. Ah, oh, man. No, we can't block. That's not a bad draw. Because it deals with their uh, rector. They can presumably attack with both. Uh, I don't think we care. We're just gonna make a bunch of tokens here. It's it's gonna take a while for them to kill this Gris. Could have an endurance, but I don't think we're playing around that. We get punished by discard here. Luckily, I was thinking seeds, but now it's a little awkward. We have to sack the veteran explorer. Yep. 
It's a little bit dangerous now. Because now we don't have protection for the rector. Yeah, there's an argument to me. We're, we're supposed to just triple block, get it off the board because it's so scary. Mm, but too late for that. Ironically enough, Natural Order wins the game here. Or not. One, two, three. Actually, we boarded out the, the insect. Yeah. Okay, now we're just dead. Well, live and learn. does okay guess we're dead Can't cast either. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Actually, what am I doing? I could have boarded in the pick your poison, but that seems kind of bad to try to answer the enchantment. Okay, I'm trying to think. Is there an out now? I or am I just drawing dead? I think I'm just drawing dead. All right, we'll just save everybody time. Uh, kind of, kind of brutal. <sighs> I think uh, that third game there, I have nobody to blame but myself. I think in hindsight, maybe just get the Rector off the board. I think I'd probably win the game. I was pretty ahead even with that Grist there. They have the Overwhelming Splendor, but that doesn't line particularly well against Grist. And uh, yeah, I, I think we just win. Maybe we just block and then... Uh, I exile the thing in response. Just to like deal with it, right? But, but live and learn. I don't. Not used to playing as Nitfit. That's actually the problem too, right? Like this. This is the kind of deck that uh, you really have to win your first match. You don't want to be in the bracket where there's just like random stuff that maybe your deck is not built to beat. But again, that game three is on me for. Uh, for not taking the safe play, I'm gonna get water.
So the interesting thing is I would leave with the Mortuary Mire, but I'm a little bit nervous about getting Bullet Moon. So I'm just going to leave with this. Like, I, I just don't get a play in Magic if they Blood Moon me here. I don't know what they're on, but... For what it's worth, um... Arbor is even worse in this case, right? If I draw, drew the Arbor there. Because it's, it's weak to removal. Eldrazi. Okay, I kind of want to start restart this league now. It's feels like we're not gonna get anything out of this league. Sure. Yeah, in, in this case, I'm like very tempted to just drop because if we're gonna pair into like Eldrazi, there's a waste of time, right? Win or lose. What did they take? A Traxa for some reason. Uh, I think we want to hit a lad here. Um... The shepherd turns on our hand, but like, do we care is the thing. I guess we do. We fetch first into the mire, otherwise, for the same reason I mentioned earlier, right? Otherwise you just undo whatever you did. Uh, here, and then we're just gonna try to hit lands. Bottom. Uh, I'm already sold on the Mortuary Admirer, based on this game. That's the one thing out of this game, at least we got. Again, Arbor is even worse, right? You don't, you don't get a filter here. It... So the alternative there was, I could have got a land and then ramp. It kind of, why would they hold mana up? Feels like they're gonna dismember in response. Although it's weird for them to hold too, unless they have a, something, a drop in hand they wanna. Oh, I gotta remember, like, I only have one Arbor now. It's a little bit dangerous uh, if I, like, willy-nilly just green some for zero. Agreed. It looked a lot better than an Arbor would have been. I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's correct to just, like, ramp for... Actually, that's pretty inefficient use of mana anyways. Maybe what we did was correct. It's better use of mana, I'll tell you that much. Given that we naturally found the Shepherd, we'll just, we don't actually care until this is lower. Uh, so the question here is like, do we TKS and then draw a card? Probably. So I'm gonna do this. They took on a tracks for reasons unknown, but I'm gonna tick down. 
kill the TKS, draw a card. Hopefully we hit a Guy's Cradle. That's not bad either. Uh, and then we're just gonna like, do I want to ramp here or play a Artisan? The problem is, what am I getting if I get Artisan? Like, we already have Gris on board. Uh, I guess we're gonna bash. Um, for what it's worth, this game has m multiple asterisks on it because, uh, it just makes no sense for your opponent to just take a track. It must have been misclick. Like, there's no universe I can see that being correct. It, it must be a misclick. Like, that, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. All right. Uh, this is one of the matches where Snuff Out is just obscene against our opponent. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, I don't think endurance is like three mana do nothing like pretty pretty mediocre. Uh, there's a world this does something, but what else do we have? I think pick your poison is probably going to be relevant. Uh, there's a chance to keep in chalice, and they have things like ratchet bomb and whatnot. Uh, what else? This is like kind of slow. So I'll cut that. <coughs> but yeah, uh, significantly better already than the second Arbor would have been, right? Significantly better. I haven't missed the second arbor yet, but I have to be d careful about like, I usually don't think when I green sun for zero and that might be a disaster in the future. Sure. <coughs> I've even had it be a disaster where like, both arbors are out of my my uh, library, and then I like go to green sun for zero. It's it doesn't happen often, but it's happened to me. Where I just like don't think about it and just like lose a whatever for no reason. Lose a green sun for no reason. Uh, here I'm playing around wasteland. If it, in case it wasn't obvious. I think if you develop mana in this matchup, you probably are in okay shape. Uh, it smells like Containment Priest here. It smells like Containment Priest. Um, I think we play the Artisan. And then play the Fetch Land. They probably flash in the Containment Priest. Uh, in which case, we can... Um, Get the thing later on. The mortuary mod, like it's already relevant, right? Like, might be a TKS or um, Smasher here. Maybe it's a Case of the Chaos Adventure. Interesting. It is. Wow. I definitely did not have that on my radar. It's like a hybrid Eldrazi build. I wonder if they have white for Solitude. I don't think we're allowed to play around that. They could Pyro here though, or Fury here. That is like not out of the question. Or Bolt, that's like, I guess a thing too.
there's a part of me that thinks our opponent might have like We can steal the initiative here. Uh, if we get blown out by swords or like bolt or some random thing, I, th I feel although I feel they would have used it already, they had it. I don't know why they did that. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, there's two lines, right? We either grist, tick down, attack, or we try to play around something, and then they like. Yeah, I think the other. I think we take the high upside play here. I don't really love the other the other line. If we get got, we get got by containment priest here. I think the upside is just too large, right? And I feel like if our opponent actually had removal, they would have spent it. Like it's weird for them to um It's weird for them to not have the containment priest there. And not kill the artisan, right? Like, I'm trying to figure out. I don't think there's a, a way that's. I'm sure there's something that's possible, but it doesn't make sense otherwise. You get a second forest, which is like pretty huge here. The sagging of the arbor conveniently grows a reclaimer too, and that's potentially relevant for things like smash or whatever they haste thing they can have. Maybe bombers, bombardiers. Sorry. <coughs> Gotta play as if we have snuff out, right? Green. I don't like where this is going. Why is there green mana being floated? That was what I was afraid of. Question here is, what are they gonna kill? The Gris? Or are they gonna take the initiative? Probably the Gris. Oh, it has no. They're taking the initiative. Interesting. Interesting. I think we have to kill the Mince and Boo here. We do have the card to do so. Sure. Snuff out's cut off now.
feel like we're losing this game, but uh, we'll see. They probably attack the Gris here. I have to imagine. Uh, we go to nine. It's like a million damage coming here our way. We can at least temporarily steal initiative potentially. Our line here is they most certainly will attack Gris. The question is, what do we do? We can triple block so the Gris lives and take and then take down, take their only threat. Leave the Fiend Artisan up, and then it'll be huge. Like, that's a line, I guess. I don't think it's the worst. Because if they kill the Gris... Sorry, we don't block. They kill the Gris. We can attack, and but then how do we deal with that thing? We don't have a Karak. We didn't board into Karakas, so. Uh oh. Could be a Fury. Hardcast. Or another K to the Chaos Adventure. Although they should be doing that post board. I mean, post. Second main phase, if that's what it is. <coughs> Could be a Shatter Skull smashing, like, casting it. That was not on my radar. <sighs> Alright. That was not on my radar. What are they gonna attack? Uh, we can't even kill it. That's that's brutal. Oh, I messed up. I have to do that now. I should have actually played this. I, I'm used to going the right side of the dungeon, but in this case, I think it was correct to go to the left side of the dungeon. Bottom and that's probably okay. That was a mistake by me. It's one of the rare, rare times I think it might have been correct to go to the left side of the dungeon for us. Oh my god, really? Well, I guess it didn't matter. I cannot believe I'm playing around this card. All right, uh, we're gonna lose this game. We needed to hit snuff out, we did not. Do 
Can we attack? They're not going to block. Um, and not to mention, we don't have six power, so we have no choice. All right, we'll just pass. That's probably a disaster. Okay. Oh, it's your opponent. Okay, that's good to know. I thought it was they they had to defend you for some reason. It would be a very classical red card. Alright, we're just dead. Alright, um interesting. We have two of these. Uh how are we gonna play around this? The spider seems like it, well, it doesn't play well against the fire confluence. Uh, I think we want the Karakas though, for sure. Probably no lair. Uh, everything else is like reasonable, I guess. Matchups like these, uh, natural order does very heavy lifting. Uh, I would keep, but the problem is, like, this is a guy kind of slow hand. Uh, if I want to keep a Reclaimer. The issue is... I think we have to keep the land, ironically enough. Uh, I'm not going to play around their wasteland here. We have a Gris next turn, but Gris lines up poorly against um, Minsebu, so we're probably just gonna have to hope they don't have it. Like, they should have the mana on turn three, but I don't know how shaky their mana is. Sure. Regretting the not having the um, the layer here. Well, I think that Karag is probably still correct for what it's worth. Yeah, I, I regret not having the, uh, I, I think we're supposed to just not ignore the, the Minsebu and still have the green mana. Could be prisoner of the moment though, because I would rather have just Fienars in and ramp and then set up for Gris the following turn. Here we're like, it's not good to Gris when we don't have the initiative. Well, 
That is game. That is game. It's insane to me that they brought in Blood Moon in their three color deck. But sometimes that happens. The irony we pitched this snuff out there, right? Sure. Actually, we might be in this game if somehow this token connects here. Oh, that's actually really good. We are suddenly in business. We're gonna okay let's let's do this correctly oh what are we gonna do here we're suddenly back in this game miraculously the collector will shut this off the question is like do it does it actually matter at this point they have four mana already plus first I guess We could get a f whatever, and it's, it'll be kind of big, I guess. A fiend. Since the reclaimer's not big enough yet. <coughs> it'll be hilarious if we win this game. Sweep, that's fine, I, I think. Lost well, for sure. Um, do we actually want any of the, these? And the answer is probably not. Um, I think we're going to plus first. The reason being is, uh, if we hit an artisan, I don't, I think we're, we want it to grow, right? All right, it's out of confluence range now. I actually think we're winning this game now. Because even Mince and Boo doesn't even win now from, from our opponent's perspective. Yeah, that's kind of hilarious. <coughs> they somehow did not have a follow-up threat. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the restroom. Be right back.
All right. Um, while I was using the restroom, I actually thought about my line there of uh, plusing first to try to get the artist in the yard. I think thinking about it more, I actually rather that artisan stay in the library because there's a there's. I think my game, <coughs> if I planned ahead, my game plan from there is probably just a clone artisan, and just like essentially dare our opponent to beat a four four or five five, or two of them I guess. <coughs> Get more water. I think we've drawn uh, the surveil land um, underground mortuary once, and it was very good in that game one. I think we tutor for it once; it was like pretty good against the Nitfit deck. Um, we obviously lost, but that's pilot error more than anything else. Uh, I, there's probably gonna be some growing pains, admittedly, because I'm gonna have to probably retrain myself to not automatically try to fetch for two arbors like or keep that in mind but i i do think the monitor is probably very good in the very low sample size so far this is solid Would I make any changes right now to the deck? Now, the interesting thing is the Caracas there actually forced us into the Gris play. And that actually inadvertently won us the game. So, that's kind of ironic. Poxwalker is interesting. Very cute start. Uh, I don't know if this deck runs Wasteland or not. I'm gonna assume they don't have it. If I live with Reclaimer there, um, then I can cut off mana the next turn. Sure. I think we're uh, allowed to block here.
We just have to be able to... Well, we can block everything if need be, but... That is not what I want to see. Ugh, that is not what I want to see. We have to block for sure this and this. This is depth touch. Yeah. This burns their LED. Well, no, it doesn't. They can save it, I guess. So if I do this, I have two, three, four mana next turn. The other way gives me, if I do it this way, then it's two, three, four mana, and I still have a, uh, a big artisan. That's probably worth more, to be honest. Okay. We get blown up by Wasteland, but I think I lose anyways for what's worth. If that's what they have. Alright, um, I think we actually won this game. I don't think they can beat our track, so, like, full stop. Uh, we got the endurance for insurance. And all lands. That's funny. Uh, I th think we're gonna have to get non fetches done. Just eat hit their yard here. Game's probably right. over. These kind of decks cannot beat on tracks though. Uh, that was a pretty good draw from our opponent here. It's not going to matter, though. Like, I, I just don't see how they're beating their tracks. So. Because I'm going to gain seven, right? And that should just like put it out of reach. We're gonna do it main phase here, I think. Well, let me see, it doesn't matter. We cast. Sure, we'll just pass. Yeah. 
The game is already out of reach. They need burn spell on that turn. Um, this, these kind of matchups are, I think, are like super favorable. But we'll see. I think this is a snuff out matchup, as ironic as it sounds, because the, the life actually matters. Um, this feels maybe, I don't know if that's too slow, maybe. Collect Oot doesn't do anything, this doesn't do anything. Uh, it feels way too slow. Uh, do I want a lair in this matchup? Probably not. Because I'm going to fetch for snuff out anyways. There's an argument to be made. We don't even need hoof. But it's green. At least it pitches, right? I think we got to mold this. Pretty good. Uh, for deck fitting reasons. And to grow Reclaimer earlier. The benefit I have on my side is I own paper dredge, LED dredge. So I have a little bit of experience, at least know how to play against these kind of decks. Madness is a little bit different. Like they're a little bit more immune to graveyard hate. But uh, my point is still stands like I think it helps. I'll put it that way. Um, I guess we take the high arc. Uh, against these kind of decks, I'm like, a card that's always on my mind is like Firestorm. And if I can play around it. I think my win rate against Dredge is like, in recent memory at least, is like it's got to be at least like 90, 95 percent. I don't, I don't remember the last time I lost to Dredge. Madness, I think, is a little scary because like they're not as, they're more immune to graveyard hate, but I think like they have trouble beating endurance because it's it's a, or they're just three four tribal. For those who are curious, the trick to beating Dredge is you only respond when you need to, right? Like, don't you don't need to panic and then Dredge like six and then another six. It doesn't actually matter until you when you have to deal with their Narcomedians or their their bridges. <coughs> there is the Firestorm that we talked about. That fairy was very good right now. So 
we have a four forward to deal with. I think if that's all they have, we're probably in a good spot. And they kind of just like burned their hand right now, right? Uh, I did not want to see that though. Mm. Question here is, what do we go with? Uh, are we getting a reclaimer? Probably, I guess. We're gonna take seven here, but um, I think we're still okay. We can like like take a couple hits. They're gonna looting, I think. We take seven here. We go to eight. I play the artisan, play the thing. They attack. We're gonna go to like four or whatever. No blocks. We could still, yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters yet. They ironically didn't use it yet, which is funny. That's actually really good. For multiple reasons. Sure. I think it's annoying, but... I could kill the hollow one right now, uh, now if I wanted to. I'm not sure it's worth it because if I, if I draw an arbor, uh, fetch land, then I could just outright kill the hollow one. I think we get rid of this and this. Actually, I want my opponent to um, activate the mana, right? Like, it was to spend their mana. me next turn and I can kill the hollow one straight up by sacking the the arbor yeah unfortunately that tonight it's been that way unfortunately 
sure. It's actually not a bad draw. I'll pass. They do nothing but just like hard cast the, the snuff out. They can't probably attack. And the reason being is because the Fiendars is going to grow. Sure. Let's see if they see it. I think, we, I think the game is over already. I don't think they can get through this board. Do we care about leaving a card in hand there? <coughs> um, yeah, we'll just pass. There's no need to do anything. Here's my social for those who are curious, anyways. If our opponent's not going to do anything, we're just going to try to cycle through our deck here. Uh, I think this is the best. We took out the layer, so I think this is the best draw. Bin. It's like we drew one card, right? Four, five, six, seven. We're like short on mana still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. The art, the second arbor here would be relevant, but maybe that just, yeah. For what it's worth, the second arbor here would be relevant, but maybe I don't want to don't want to go down to three anyways. Natural order any second wins the game, or second cradle. There's the there's the KO I'm looking for, right? 
Actually, is that even lethal? I gotta make sure. Um, if I stack that, that's seven, eight, uh, plus five. Actually, oh, what am I doing? I just do nor normal hoof math. That's 16. That'd be 16 plus uh, four and two. That's 22 damage, and they have less than that. All right, it's lethal. All right, um, we want 2-0. Uh, probably sweated it more than we need to. <coughs> so I think there, the mortuary, uh, underground mortuary was pretty good again. Notably though, uh, the arbor there would have been relevant, the second one. But we won anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. <coughs> so just for a recap, we lost to lands. Uh, we drew kind of poorly and the opponent drew pretty well uh here this one's on me we lost a nit fit I, I probably win if i make the correct play game three uh we beat out like this weird um like gruel eldrazi deck and then we beat madness which is like super favorable i think most of these graveyard decks like we want to see uh, i think we keep Uh, this has impressed me a lot so far. It's been a virtual draw pretty much every time. It's Granted, that the sample size is only three, but it's three for three. And here, notably, it's better than an Arbor would be. Now, we spur, we used our Arbor already, so that is something to be weary of. Like, I don't want to learn the hard way that we're going to forget later. So question here is, are we going artisan? Are we going natural order here? Safe. I don't want to like lose the thing to bow masses randomly. Bottom. So that that actually puts our artisan out of range too, which is nice. So if our opponent goes removal or removal, then we get punished. But like, it is what it is, right?
So we would have been punished for what it's worth if we led the other way. Uh, well, I guess what I would have fetched, we don't know what the next car would have been. But potentially punished. If we don't draw a land there. If they miracle here, we're screwed. And one of the LCQs that I won, uh, for actually when I want that qualified me for the showcase qualifier a couple years ago, I actually beat a terminus for like five uh, my creatures on turn two, and that's probably one of the more, in hindsight, miraculous comebacks that I, I've had. Uh, granted, that turn two was fueled off some draws off I think like Visionary or Grimms, I don't remember, but I uh, I thought I was kind of dead in the water to be honest. They swords the shepherd, so that feels like they have. Um, it feels like they have uh, force of will in hand. Alright, they don't ley line bind the artisan here. My, okay, I that, okay, again, I. Get, I Forgot I don't have the other one now. It's I think I want it though. Mm. Feels like they have force. I guess they don't. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Uh, green sun. Did I play a land here? I guess I need not. Do I take the natural order here or the green sun? This wins the game, so let's do that. So, my observation here is, I think I want the second harbor, like, for more relevant reasons. Not, not having the second harbor here is hurting us. I say that now, but also, like, th then I'm going to draw it more often. One thing that's kind of interesting is um, with our with the legacy metagame playing more of these like uh, island uh, basic island cycling cards, um, the swarm is probably not as good, right? Like our opponent has no targets right now. We have to target ourselves if we swarm here. Probably getting gris anyways, but something to keep in mind. What is happening here? We can... They force here, then what? Actually, let's do that. Undo. Undo. Hmm. 
okay, they just, they're probably thinking, okay, he's taking every possible precaution, so, I, I do that, so I, I can, I, I feel where they're coming from, there's times where I know I'm just dead, because our opponent is, like, thinking about it, and they, I was like, I must be dead, like, 20 million ways, and they're just thinking about what to, I did, they need to play around. <coughs> so, I, I feel you, I feel you. All right, uh, let's board this stuff out. <coughs> I don't think I want Bog actually in this matchup. Can we recover from the zero two start? Looks like a ponder turn one, yep. Yeah. We are just going to flood board here. Let's do this. In case they somehow randomly have days in their deck. They shouldn't, but you never know. Casual green sun for seven here, maybe. Do they have the answer? Doesn't seem like it. Oh. This is not as good against the beans as I thought it would be because it's dictated by the number of fetch lands, so maybe this is just better at something, uh, something else. There's been times where it was good, but it's like hard to say, right? Like, maybe I, this is just like a unique game here. Supreme Verdict. Oh, they were debating what whether to let it resolve, I guess. I guess they pitched a Supreme Verdict, which is nice. Actually, the Scare score might be good now. Sure. I'm not sure we care about that card, to be honest. They're gonna eat their yard here. Uh, make two tokens, and then maybe cast Hoof it and hopefully win the game. But we'll see. I hate this. I hate that this ETB draw card. 
But may maybe it's unplayable if it doesn't do that. I guess they didn't want to pitch to the Premier League, that's what it was. If I didn't do that right now, that would have been 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. It's not enough for lethal. Hopefully they, our opponent just doesn't have uh, force. And then if they don't, we're in a good spot. I don't think we care. we just ignore that. What is going on? It's If they supreme here, it's gonna be sad. Ugh, why? Why, why, why? So they had two supremes in their first whatever cards. Yeah, okay. They must have top decked it because Sad times. Jesus, okay. They like trigger that. Question here is like, do we get the arbor? Or do we get the mire? I feel like it's this. The arbor's not doing anything right now. Obviously, I feel differently if I draw an ash order, but that's a whole different argument. <coughs> I think I'm better off drawing the art like natural order first before I think about those lines. And thank goodness I, uh, you know, did that. Now I think we're just drawing dead because we did that. Or we were forced to do that. I, don't, I think we're drawing dead, to be honest. I don't see a line where we can win now. We have to block. Uh, 
I think... Actually, they Supreme Verdict their own thing too, right? Yeah, I think I recall them attacking with their own Triumph and then Supreme after that. I'd probably just chump block the Triumph. Oh, actually, I might just take down. No, actually, it doesn't make sense. Well, they could Ley Line Binding. So. I wish they would print a green Leobold, like mono green, that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. Alright, uh, do we want to change anything based on that? Probably not. Like, I'm like, somewhat tempted to play Snuff Out, but Snuff Out feels really bad when uh, your opponent leads with beans, right? We're on the play though, so things are a little bit different. Cradle? Ding, ding, ding. All right, we're just gonna flood board here and not play around anything. <coughs> Although for what it's worth, even though we would have wanted the second arbor a few times, I'm not sure that was like the difference in the game, if that makes sense. Like, we never had lethal anyways because of it. So, uh, it's another, you know, uh, another thing to keep in mind. Actually, let's not do that. You want to attack first. If they want to sword that, they can. a good sign for us. Maybe they have a ley line binding. Or maybe they kept a hand based on Beanstalk and didn't realize that they can't just bank on that uh, on the draw. Or it could be a containment price here. If they have it, they have it. I think they have priests, but don't quote me on that. Actually, that was a mistake. I should, probably should have just ran the green sun out. That was bad. Oh, okay. Not as bad. I 
lesson learned. I, I, I made a mistake. I should have just ran the green sun because I get another creature on board. So I can do it again next turn. We'll see if this deck carries me, even though I made mistakes. Feels like our opponent probably has Supreme. Which is fine, we're just reloaded right now. We had to burn the um, the green sun there because of my previous mistake, but I I think in, in Heinz, in, Overall, it didn't probably didn't matter. They're probably gonna supreme here. That's what it feels like. Like, why would they keep that hand otherwise? Sure. Uh, and then we're gonna do what we need to do, I guess. Plus. I screwed up. Here and here's why. I, I, I sequenced it wrong. Mm, graveyard. I'm sure chat knows why I sequenced it wrong. I, I need to play like creatures first to decide like if I want to get this or not. If they forced it, then I can't spend all my mana. Artisan's huge right now. Supreme again? Oh my god. How many Supremes are they running? Sure. I can't do it this turn, at least. What are they doing? Oh, Murktai region? They draw two? Feels like they have force now. But maybe I'm wrong. That is a nuts draw. 
Okay, they have force and negation. Let's take that. You're dead, homie. Let's take that. You're dead. What they're supposed to do there is force and negation, pitch, and hope to draw into blue plus another force. But actually, they know Terminus is... Uh, so Supreme's on top, so you hope... Actually, did they already... Yeah, we already know. Eh. Let's see. Return... Okay, so they drew the Supreme, we take the, f they're supposed to force pitch Supreme, hope to draw into force, plus another blue card. It's unlikely, but it's better than being dead, right? You know the other person has natural order in hand. Alright, anyways. Um, this matchup I think is okay now. I'm not sure how I feel about this card in this matchup. It is probably, <coughs> maybe not as good as I, I had hoped. It, to be fair... If they didn't Supreme in the previous turn, we win the previous game, though. So, maybe it's okay. I don't know. Um, what I do know is I need this card to map against Control. So, if it's not this, then maybe it's the second Gris. Uh, but this has a different angle of attack, so there, there's that. And I think this is better against Delver for whatever it's worth. Uh, I don't think Gris is particularly good against Delver because they have, like, their best... Delver's best hands are, like, the a million Delver... Uh, a million... Um, DRC's in the beginning. Alright, uh... Oh, negation doesn't draw. That's fair. I was I kept thinking about force. I, I just assumed they just have a million cards. Just, like, ignore their draw, card draw, right? And then, uh... And they just, like, kill them, right? You just take whatever matters. Ignore the, their silly triumphs. Alright, uh... The 0-2 into 3-2 salvage. Um... Overall, pretty happy. I think... Okay, uh, the big takeaway, I think, was there was definitely times we wanted the second Arbor, but we want anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. I, I, it's inconclusive, right? Were there times we wanted the second Arbor? For sure. Uh, but we want anyways. Or, we, or it, let me put this. The outcome was not determined because we had it or not, uh, whereas the Mortuary was very good. Uh, so I think that's here to stay. Uh, I personally like the cleanest mana base possible, but like like I, like we noticed, it's a little dicey. But we didn't have the second one available to us, available to us. So maybe this just needs. I'm probably gonna try it like this uh, some more because I think it's better to be a more aggressive with your deck building in terms of like how much you really need than to worry about like oh, what if your opponent has this random thing. So I think that is. Where I'm at. Um, I think this versus the second Gris is probably a consideration. The fact that this is, in my opinion at least, um, does something different, I kind of like, but uh, it's probably not as good against as Control as I was ho hoping. It's still okay, but it's not the. It, it's not like putting like five flyers in a player. Well, I never thought it was going to do that, but. Even three consistently, I think, would be nice. Um, I think this game two, it did that, but the opponent has Supreme Verdict. Uh, so maybe it was okay. It's, it's definitely not as good for format as Chris is for three. I'll put it that way. Uh, sideboard. Uh, we are a little bit soft to... Um, what does it call it? Like these instant speed, where we don't have instant speed disenchant, but... I'm not sure that matters, right? Our, our sideboard is geared to beat, uh, reanim like the metagame players, right? The reanimator, uh, I think we're gonna, I think we beat combo for the most part, uh, with, you know, a million of these discard effects and fair macabre and, uh, pick your poison for saga decks. Uh, this card, I don't love, but it's like a, it's probably better than the other options I'd consider and it's tutorable. Um, so I think for now, probably no changes. Uh, but we are a little bit naked without instant speed disenchant for what it's worth. Uh, okay, anybody have any questions before I raid, uh, you know, somebody else here? If nothing else, uh, you know, I think I had fun tonight. We, it always feels good to go 0-2 into 3-2, and really... We should have won this match too if, you know, pilot error, right? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and raid then. Thank you everyone for hanging out tonight. Uh, I think we broke some ground with them 
Underground Mortuary. I think it is very good. But I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. <coughs> Alright, I in three, two, one, let's go.